Here's how the unit arrived. Uh, dirty, dusty, all of the above. Uh, loose wire. Uh, broken connection. Missed solder joint. Been known to happen in kits. Uh, wafer switch. Uh, unacceptable. Completely disassembled and back into kit form. Multi six section capacitor. Uh, there's the repair 320 microfarads, isolated ground. Uh, the main chassis, the uh, front panel. That's the back of the front panel. Uh, rear panel, CRT. A uh, bowl of spaghetti uh, with the meatballs and a sawtooth wave. Okay, uh, Ico 460 wide DC wide bend oscilloscope completed and working. Yay! Uh, when I first picked this unit up, there was a 3 amp fuse in it. It's supposed to be a half an amp. So I slowly powered it up and monitored the current. And sure enough, that was spiking. Um, uh, it was going to go off the chart, so I shut it down and then started to, uh, you know, perform the uh, usual procedure of uh, checking it out. Uh, resistor values, wiring, and of course capacitors. Um, the uh, I don't think that the, almost all of the uh, resistors were um, not in tolerance. Um, and the same thing with the capacitors, except, of course, the uh, mica capacitors. I checked the transformer uh, and, <coughs> and the tubes, and they were both, uh, both of those items, fortunately, I lucked out. The controls, <clears throat> like the potentiometers, uh, of course, were uh, all uh, in need of a good cleaning. And the selector switches, where you have the uh, the rotary type switches, where you have the wafers, those contacts were like black, <clears throat> and uh, they had to be uh, dis dis uh, disassembled, removed disassembled and cleaned uh, so uh, I'm uh, of course you by now watching some of the videos you know that I'm not afraid to rip these things down to square one and that's what I did with this one I took it completely apart main reason being is that uh, to uh, service the uh, switches uh, you, I, I, you really can't do it the way they're, you know, everything's soldered in, the way they're tucked into the unit. So, uh, another thing, uh, aside from a few bad connections on the, um, you know, a few solder joints, they always show up with kits. As something that was in a kit form, I've done it myself. Uh, was. Um, there are there a few larger, the old capacitors, you know, two and a half inch jobs that were supposed to be mounted or tucked in up front where it's really, really tight. So uh, someone in the past had relocated a lot of the large capacitors in the back where there's, some, there's uh, quite a bit of room and ran a whole bunch of wires up front and uh, of course that's not in the instructions how to do that and I figured you know maybe that's not a good idea to uh, to run all of that um, capacitance or whatever you got going on the EMF through all of those wires from front to back so that was one thing that was uh, obvious it just didn't look quite right so I reassemble this uh, unit according to the um, manual which fortunately I found online so after I rebuilt the whole thing I did a slow power up 
<coughs> and it passed the smoke test. <coughs> Excuse me, which I don't. Um, uh, and then it, it wasn't working quite right, though, which, uh, you know, I kind of figured it might not have, but what are you going to do? So the amperage, it, it didn't pop any uh, fuses, uh, a half, half amp fuse, that's what's in there now. Uh, it was drawn about 300 milliamps, so we're good to go there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, however, um, it just wasn't functioning properly. So I took a rest from it for a few days. And I went, one day I was over there on the internet and I was looking through some items and I came across a uh, an ICO, um, another instruction booklet. And I says, oh, well, I already have one of those. I don't need that. But the way the seller had this, um, these papers here depicted was they had it fanned out a little bit like this. And behind the instruction booklet, I saw the word, or the ending of a word, D-U-M. Hmm. So I was wondering what that is. And that's addendum. So I snagged it offline, uh, off the internet, and sure enough, four pages of addendums to this rig and uh, it includes um, changing you know simple items uh, values of uh, some capacitors and resistors adding a capacitor the um, the voltage readings on the um, uh, cathode ray tube and the uh, rectifiers was different and it actually jived on, on the addendum with the readings I was getting. Uh, and the uh, also, there was a replacement of one of the potentiometers from 2.5 to 15K. And I wasn't a happy camper about that, because after tucking and soldering that thing in there, that was quite a bit of work. But after the addendums... It worked. Uh, it works uh, as you know, I, uh, as intended. I've measured some waveforms uh, with the octopus uh, curve tester. I've uh, you know identified a whole bunch of components, and since I'm kind of interested in um, the old radios, uh, fixing up the old radios, uh, this could help in the peak in the coils. So I have here uh, a um, a four five five uh, IF can with a, a getting swept, and if I could get a screwdriver in here, this could uh, we could align this, bring the coils, uh, and if you go too far, I don't know why that that traces drifting across the stream but it's the mere fact that this thing is working now is uh, good enough for me so there you have it an old rig probably very useful for many things and um, I'm proud of the fact that I Assemble this thing from uh, parts which I made, you know, had from uh, disassembling the whole unit, and uh, it's a fun project. I mean, these kits years ago, uh, absolutely fantastic. The heat kits too. This is Ico. The heat kit, the manuals are. Uh, those guys knew what they were doing. Uh, you could tell that they really wanted to. Uh, you to get have success uh, in the, the way they they word everything, and I wish they could do something like this again today. Um, but um, so until then, thanks for putting up with me and um, hanging in there. 
and um, you have a, a happy and healthy new year. Thank you.